Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, June 4th, 2011. This week I've got your background series, number three, stitching up backgrounds in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. When you want to add interesting details to your background pages, try adding stitches to the design. Whether you're using pattern paper or a solid, subtle stitching can make it extraordinary. Begin by opening a digital paper in Photoshop or Elements and also open a row of digital stitches. For the sample, I'm using Straight Line Stitches in White by Anna Aspness. Get the Move tool and then drag your stitches onto your background document. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the stitching document since I already have it dragged in place and then you can use your arrow keys or you can just drag your stitches into place near the top of the page. Select the stitching layer and press Ctrl J or on a Mac system Command J to duplicate it. Drag it into place or use your arrow keys to position your stitches where you'd like them. If your stitching is irregular, you can make the stitch design look a little bit more realistic by flipping the second row of stitches. In Photoshop, you'll flip the layer by selecting Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal, or Flip Vertical. In Elements, flip the layer by selecting Image, Rotate, Flip Layer Horizontal, or Flip Layer Vertical. Now make it easy on yourself by duplicating the two rows of stitches at one time. One easy way to do this is to get the Move tool and Control click or on a Mac System Command click both of the stitching layers in the Layers panel. Drag the two layers onto the Create a New Layer icon in the Layers panel. It will either be at the top or the bottom depending on your software. This makes a copy of both of the layers and it selects the two new layers. Use the down arrow key on your keyboard to drag them into place or hold the Shift key and drag them into place. Next, select all four stitching layers and drag them onto to the Create a New Layer icon. This will copy all four of the stitching layers and select them so that you can drag them into place. Continue duplicating stitching layers until you have completed your design. Using this method is much faster and easier than applying the stitching one layer at a time. Now if you'd like to make a grid with your stitches, simply select all of the stitching layers. You can control click or command click on a Mac and select all of them or you can just select the top layer of stitching, scroll down and hold down the shift key and click the bottom layer of stitching and that will select all of your stitching layers at one time. Drag them down onto the create a new layer icon and then in Photoshop, turn the duplicated stitches by selecting Edit, Transform, Rotate 90 degrees. You can either use clockwise or counterclockwise. In Elements, you'll turn the duplicated stitches by selecting Image, Rotate, Layer 90 degrees left or right. Once that's done, you can reposition them as necessary. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements Tip of the Week.